there sit but that was a long hello help was i going for a world record and i didn't even know but anyway we're going to be testing out the afocalior burning palette whenever i think of the word burning i think of cystitis have you ever had cystitis oh my gosh like literally some of my most like jarring memories are, are of having cystitis, cyst, I can't say cystitis, I would not wish that upon my worst enemy, but anyway guys, so that was a great start to the video, wasn't it, mentioning cystitis in the first 10 seconds, we're going to be trying out this palette, there's seven shimmers, and I don't know, work out, um, there's 12 eyeshadows, seven of them are shimmers, four, no not four, yeah, four of them are mattes, oh my gosh, go me, just call me a mathematician genius, I mean really. However, one of these shimmers looks kind of different in in kind of texture to the other ones. This one is called Diamond and it actually looks more like a pressed glitter. So this palette looks sensational. It's currently being sold on the Fuckle Your official store, where by the way, I would recommend you get it from as opposed to any of the other stores just because on AliExpress I, I always like to buy from the brand's official store if at all possible. I actually paid about £4.84 about I, I, I mean, I'm mean, come on, did you pay £4.84 or did you not pay £4.84? If I said I paid about £4 for this that would make sense but I paid about £4.84 for this, what the feck. It was on sale so I did get it you know, a little bit cheaper than it's being sold now. But anyway, we're going to try it out today. As always, we're going to see, is it worth the money? Is it worth the money? What the heck? Guys, I'm really sorry. I don't know what's going on today. I'm not going to bore you with this, I promise, because I know it's super annoying when you've got YouTubers complaining about not being well or having a headache, having sinusitis, having cystitis, you know what I mean? I've got what my doctor very crudely described as being a bulging eardrum and it's as horrible as it, as it sounds. I don't know what's going on. I just woke up in the middle of the night a few nights ago and this side of my head just felt like it was going to explode. And ever since then, I can't really hear correctly. Like I don't know how my voice sounds at the moment. So I may be shouting, I, I may not be shouting. I'm in a vacuum right now is the best way I can describe it. So I do apologize if I come across even weirder in this video than usual. It's just because this eardrum is bulging, whatever the hell that means. I mean, maybe it spotted another eardrum and it took a shine to it. So Focalion not only brought out this palette, but they did bring out another one um, called the Sunset Palette. As you can see, there's two there. Okay, so this one is the Sunset Palette. They actually like have very similar themes to them. They're not like all that like, dissimilar at all. I would definitely say like the the Desert, is it called the Desert Palette? What did I say the name was? Desert? Did I say Desert? Let me see. I don't think it's called Desert. The Sunset. <laughs> Honestly, like, what the feck do I know? Yeah, the Sunset Palette looks to be more of like a cooler tone palette, whereas this Burning Palette is uh, more warmer tones, I feel. If you've watched my channel before, you'll know I'm a huge fan of Focalior. Two of my very favourite eyeshadow palettes are from Focalior, the Twilight Palette, and the palette that I should know the name of, but my memory is literally that bad. I'm going to blame the bulging eardrum for this. The Bright Lux palette is its name. So this is what the palette looks like. It's cardboard and it does come with a mirror, which is a new thing for Fuckle Your um, eyeshadow palettes. Do you ever see that where, you know, people are doing like reviews on eyeshadow palettes and they're like, this is a really good mirror. And this, this is the mirror that everyone wears. This is making your mirror. And I just look at it and think, mm. I can't, why am I cross-eyeing myself? Like, I don't know why. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed. But I'm looking. I can't, why can I not look at myself? Do you know why? I think because, like, part of me wanted to look here and part of me wanted to look in my um, mirror in the palette. And I was just sending my eyes cross-eyed. Why do I keep going cross-eyed? I don't know what's going on right now. But, but honestly, guys, this is a standard mirror, just like probably any other mirror that you've looked in in your life. Yeah, so there's the palette. There's the mirror. Here's me. 
So I have already kind of done the base on my eyes using the NYX eyeshadow base. This is the kind of pure white one. Well, it was pure white until I apparently got an eyelash in there as some red eyeshadow. And I have my brushes ready in my fabulous new brush holder by, by AliExpress. It's not by AliExpress, it's from AliExpress. Oh my gosh, this was the best purchase ever in the world because I've got a massive um, kind of daily makeup bag. Sorry, you're thinking, I'm going to just show us the swatches, show us the eyeshadow palette, but this is important. This is my everyday makeup bag. I know, like literally, it's so heavy. I don't even think Hulk Hogan could lift it up. My brushes were taking up so much room in it that I thought, mm, no, they need their own space. So we're going to begin with doing some swatcheroos and then I'm just going to get onto the eye look. Let's do Okay, so I'm going to begin with this beautiful kind of mustardy shade and this cool tone brown. They feel very soft indeed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they look beautiful. So watch them here and here. Very nice, actually. Very, very nice. I'd say that mustard is, is more kind of yellow than I was kind of expecting, but not hating it. I am a huge fan of yellow. Okay, so next we're going to go into pottery. Gosh, having nails is just so, like, ridiculous. Look, I've got to the point now where I just put two nails on, the middle finger and the little finger. I, I can't do anything if I have more than two two false nails on. Just the kind of girl that I am. I've just realised I'm when you're not a false nail kind of lady. Massive respect to all you ladies and men out there who can wear a full set of false nails. I am literally incapable of doing it. I was chopping an avocado the other day and I just ended up with like tons of mashed avocado just like stuck underneath my false nail and I was like, this is not the life I want to lead. Like I, I do not have the qualifications to have false nails. But anyway, guys, okay, so we have two more shades. Oh my gosh, that shimmer is beautiful. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my vagina. Vagina. Mm, 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 mm. Uh. Oops, sorry guys. Oh my gosh. We've got two more shimmery shades. <gasps> oh my gosh. If you're a fan of like um, coppers, uh, kind of reds, pinks, I feel like you would like this palette. Okay, so nothing, nothing, we, we got nothing from that one. Okay, we got nothing from that one. Those last two swatches was this one and this one. Pretty shit, if you ask me. Okay, we're going to swatch the last two. So this one is diamond, which I believe is more like a pressed glitter. And then look at this beautiful kind of goldy bronze shade. Oh my gosh, that's sensational. And that, oh... Diamond. Oh, holy vaginas. I need to swatch it again. Right, okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's swatch it in my hand. Oh, God. Guys, get a load of that. Oh, yes. Yes, please. All over my clitoris. I mean, did I just say that? I don't mean that. Well, kind of. Okay, so I do actually have a plan for today's look. I'm going to go with a kind of cool tone brown on in the crease mustard lid and then a bit of a uh, diamond just you know smoothed over my eyelid space and i'm just going to begin today with the uh i think the tiramisu shade i think i'm going to go for or should i not should i go straight in with the night one immediate flaw that i'm spotting with this palette you're kind of very limited on neutral kind of transition shades. You know, if you want to just like build up a bit of a crease and a bit of like color gradient kind of situations, you don't really have many options within this palette. If they maybe had like a camel brown or almost like a kind of peachy kind of shade, I feel that would potentially really help the palette along. Okay, we're just going to go in with a tiramisu. Okay, so not bad. It's not kind of blowing my pants away, really, but it's pretty. It's left it a mark of itself there. I'm going to apply a bit more because I just feel like we need a little bit more. We just need more is what we need. 
Okay, do you know what? That's not bad at all. Look at that. And that was only two like dippings. So I don't think that's bad at all. I had a plan and that plan's kind of, you know, sliding out the window as we speak because I feel like I really want to go in with this beautiful kind of corally pinky shade. It's called Pottery. So I'm just going to dip my brush in. This is a Juke uh, brush. I really, really recommend these. Uh, you can get them from AliExpress. Super good quality and very affordable. Uh, they sell like single brushes or you could buy a set and they're just really, really good. Oh my gosh, this eyeshadow is also really, really good. These blend out beautifully and I'm just loving this shade. I'm just kind of patting it on and then I'm blending, just doing a bit of patting and blending because what I find, particularly with like uh, Beauty Glaze eyeshadow palettes, uh, Fuckle Your eyeshadow palettes, just like the cheaper, even like um, Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes, I feel like you can over blend to the point that the, the pigment and the eyeshadow just kind of blends away. So I find if you just kind of tap on the pigment and then just do a minimal blend, you can sometimes like get the the best out of the product that way oh my gosh look at that guys i know it's looking like super super messy right now but i promise it will come together i say that i have no idea if this is actually going to come together but what i can tell you is me and honeys we will be coming together later <laughs> that was a terrible joke but not really a joke that, that's the truth just look at what's going on on my eye right now but I don't think that I can use the yellow anymore because I think I kind of or could I use the yellow let's use the fucking yellow I mean why not Tamwin there's no rules here with um with eyeshadow I'm just gonna pop the yellow on the on the lid look at this guys oh my gosh I feel like we're gonna have a sunset eye I could just feel it in my vagina do you know what I'm gonna use my finger just to apply apply this to the lid Oh yes, oh yes. Although I don't really like what I've done, if I'm being honest. Like, uh... oh guys, I'm not really liking what I've done here. I just think the yellow doesn't really sit right with this kind of corally pink. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it in another direction. We're going to use the beautiful kind of yellowy gold shade. I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to plop it on the lid. I feel like this could kind of spice things up a little bit. Get the party started, you know. I like the eyeshadow so far, you know. I think they blend really, really easily. I'm just not loving the look that I'm creating. Isn't that just the most demotivating situation ever? You're trying to create an eye look and then like you just decide that, oh my gosh, this is bullshit. What have I even done? Why did I think these colours would go together? That's me right now. Like literally, look at this. Should we go with a bit of diamond? Like why not? And I'm just going to pop that on over the... Oh my gosh, I like this. Oh, holy vaginas. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I don't know about the yellow though. Like, I don't think this yellowy gold situation is a good one. But I'm just hoping that if I put enough of this diamond eyeshadow on, it could maybe just bring things back from the brink of death. Oh my gosh, it, it is like loose glitter. But it's still got a certain amount like, you know, tackiness to it. So it'll like adhere to your lid without the need for glitter glue you could definitely use glitter glue and i feel like that would be like the right way to go but seeing as i cannot find my glitter glue anywhere i'm not going to be doing that today do you know my eye is a little bit crazy it kind of looks like it thinks it's going to coachella i'm just going to pop a little bit of tiramisu by the way i love tiramisu i've not had it in ages um have you had tiramisu it's absolutely delicious Oh, I don't really like what I've done on my eye, guys. I'm not liking the look. Um, pop a little bit of this cool toned brown. It's called The Night. Which night? We don't know. Maybe a Wednesday night, a Saturday night. No, no idea. But I'm just going to pop this into the like outer vagina. Okay, I definitely prefer the eye. Now I've added 
uh, that kind of cool tone brown and you know what else I think I may do that could kind of save this look I am going to get my little flat top brush just going to spritz it with fix plus and I'm going to apply the diamond kind of pressed glitter I'm going to apply that with the brush oh my gosh this was like the best idea ever like literally Thomas Edison we love the phone but ugh, not as good as this oh wait Thomas Edison he created electricity didn't he and, and a William someone Alexander Bell created the telephone is that right I don't know guys well. I should have paid a bit more attention but anyway this 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 wet brush with diamond definitely winning right now I mean winning 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 <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do the other eye, I'm going to pop my mascara on. If I'm feeling feisty, I might put on some of my false eyelashes and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on the palette. Okay, so I am back, I finished my look, I popped on some falsies, although I don't think it's really stuck down in the inner corner, but can we just kind of overlook that for now i have my thoughts already on the palette personally don't feel like it's going to be one that i'm going to reach for a lot and that's not due to the quality of it it's simply like a personal choice um you know i'm just not digging not digging what who am i right now but i'm not i'm just not i'm just not just not just not. I'm, I'm just not. I feel like the kind of colour family on the swatches is kind of really, really beautiful. And I do believe that if you're a fan of warm toned eyeshadows, you probably could enjoy this palette. I feel like it's very limited in what you can actually use for like a crease. I know I mentioned this earlier, but I just think it could have really benefited from having like a camel brown, a kind of peachy shade, or maybe even like a warm toned brown it would have just been sensational. I just feel like it's a little bit limiting and I don't think that you would actually get a good variety of looks with this palette. This could all be just because of my lack of skill with eyeshadow. Put this palette in Nikki Tutorial's hands and I'm sure she could create a million masterpieces. But for me, I just feel like it's not gonna be the most versatile palette ever. Like especially this shimmer and this shimmer are quite similar in color. So I don't know, I don't hate it, but it's definitely one, not one of my favourite for Clear palette. Just to give you an example, if I show you the beautiful Twilight palette, also by for Clear, uh, this one is my absolute favourite. You can see you've got a beautiful kind of range of kind of dual toned shimmers, but then you've also got a really good kind of variety of um, kind of neutral transition kind of shades. So you've got like a peachy one, you've got like a burnt kind of brownie kind of orangey undertoned one you've got this beautiful kind of dusky rose one and then you've got the kind of more grungy shades here so you could take a look in a multitude of different directions you could have like a very light ethereal angelic kind of look or you could go for like a super like dingy grungy i'm going to just cut off your balls and stamp on them kind of look so i like this palette because it's got a bit more variety it's also got a lot more shades in it, so that's no surprise. Also, whenever I'm testing out eyeshadow palettes, I like to just like, when I'm thinking of like, do I like this? I always like think of it in reference to the price of it. So this is being sold at six pounds something. I feel like for six pounds something, it definitely is worth it. I feel like the formula is very comparable to Makeup Revolution eyeshadows, if you've ever tried those. Not the most pigmented. You don't need to over blend them and you don't need to over, you know, like smack the life out of your brush trying to get all of the excess powder off because they're not the most pigmented. It's kind of like the more you blend, the more you fall down feckery lane because you're just kind of, you know, blending away all the magic. These are definitely the type of eyeshadows that you don't want to work too much. 
if you know what I mean. I was thinking of something extremely rude there. And anyway, I'm going to take my mind back from the gutter. So anyway, guys, please let me know in the comments what did you think of this palette. I'm not into my look right now. I don't like the look right now. I also bought two of these palettes by accident. And I'm really annoyed at myself because I was thinking, I'm when you could have bought the desert palette. Is it the desert or sunset? Anyway, I could have bought the other palette, but no, another one of the burning palettes turned up. So I am going to be doing a giveaway of this um, other palette. Uh, as you can see, never been opened. I am going to kind of, you know, keep it in the bubble wrap as well. So it makes a safe journey to whoever wins it. If you would like to win uh, one of these palettes, all you have to do is just comment down below. Let me know. I'm just trying to think of this on like literally on the spot because I completely forgot I was going to be mentioning the giveaway in this video. Okay, let me think. What can I think of for the giveaway? Um, oh, gosh. Okay, I finally thought of it. It took a while. Like, I've literally been sat here for a long time. But to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below letting me know and everybody else what your absolute favorite purchase from aliexpress was either myself or honeys will pick a winner i'm not quite sure at this point when the video is going to be going up but i will in i will write here when the giveaway will close just so that you know it will be an international giveaway as always because i don't want to discriminate against anybody so wherever you are in the world that's fine enter the giveaway I'm sorry that I don't have a palette for everybody, but um, I just love doing these giveaways. Like, I love it. So even though I was annoyed that I bought an, ex an extra one, it definitely turned out for the best. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I'm kind of getting distracted by my excessive chin highlight right now. But I'll be back soon with more. With what the feck is this? Be back soon with more. Bye. Bye. <laughs>